Welcome to Skip School. In this episode, I will be showing you some easy one loop cases. So here I will be showing you the easy cases where the centers stay in the same place. So you'll start off with this case. So you want to solve the white layer and the two corners are in front. So the center stay in the same place. And how I recognize the corners is when you do the first move. So when we do, we want to insert this corner first. So we start off with this move and then these corners will move like the first move. So when we do the first move, this will come here and they will stay here and the other corner will move diagonally. So when we insert it, it will be solved. But when we want to look the other way, so when we do the first move, we see these corners will move here and the other one will move diagonally. So it will come here. So when we do it, we will have pure five. Then the next case, the centers are also solved. So we will start one looking at. So I want to insert this corner first. So with this move, so these two will come here and the other one will move diagonally. So we will have pure pi, a pure peanut. But when we one look the other one, so we will start off with this move. So the corners will move here. This one will move diagonally so it will come here so we have pure uh, pi again here is the next case so we see now the corners aren't solved so we have two solved corners here and a cycle of the centers here and the u center is here so we start one looking the first one so we bring you want to do solve this corner so you bring this down so these two corners will move here this one will move to here so we know we will have a last three centers case so we have okay. then when we one look the other case so we start with this move so they will move here and this one will move to here so we have a pi case so here's the next case so you want to solve the white white layer and you have the corners here one in the back and one on top the opposite uh, corner from the one that's in the back will move to that place so this corner will move to here and this the corner that's here will move on top here so here's an example so this corner will move to here because it's opposite to this one and the opposite of this, this one will come on top. So it will have pi, a peanut with the soft corners here and these two facing this way. And when we look at the centers, we see we have an X perm. So we have two opposites. So we have the facing here and the U center here. So we'll do sledge hedge. So here's the next case, so you want to solve white again, the corners are in the back. So how I recognize the corners is when, when the, so we do the first move and the corner in the bottom that isn't affected, I know where it will go. So the corner that isn't affected and the one above it, so these two will move up to here. So this one will go here and this one will move up to here. So when we... So we know it will be solved. So when we do the other side, so when we start with this move, so that to that case, we know this corner will go here. So the U core is here. And this one will go here. So the U core is here. And the corners are solved. So we see we have pure pi again. So here's an example. So we see when we start with this move, these two will go up to here, so they will be solved. And when we look at the centers, we see that we have a U perm. And when you look at the other side, we will know this corner will move up to here, so the U curve is here. This one will move up to here, so the U curve is here. So we have a vertical U perm, pi plus vertical U perm with the opposite right here. And this. 
So here's the next case. So you want to solve white again and the corners are here in front. You can solve this case in three moves. But when you add an extra move, so when you do the first move, instead of pushing this one down, you put it in the back like this. Then the corners stay in the same place and the center stay in the same place and the corners are really easy to one look to. So the ones here on the bottom will just move up to here. So it's really easy to one look. So this will go to here. Then the execution is to the first move. Then instead of inserting this one, you bring it into the back. So here is here's an example. So we see we have this case. These two will just move to here. So the U course will be facing this way and we have peanuts. And then we look at the center. So we see the U center is here, opposite here, opposite here. And the corners will be facing this way. So we have to do a hatch here and a hatch here. So here's the next case. So you have two opposite corners solved and this one is in the layer but is in the wrong place. So this is a pretty easy one. The center stay in the same place of course and this uh, corner just move up here. So as if you would do one move. And how you would solve this layer is you first insert this corner in three moves and then the other one. So here is an example. So we will first do the corner so they will move up to here. So we have peanut with the top corner facing this way. So we see we have the U center here, an opposite here, an opposite here. And the top corner is facing this way. So we have to know we have to do a hatch here and a sledge here. I also know an L for this. So the next two cases I will be showing you, they are for random layers, but what makes them insane is the center stay in the same place, but also two adjacent corners. So you can just one look them without tracking anything. You can just see which last layer case you will get by just looking at the cube. So how you solve this layer is you first put this corner in the layer you want to solve and then you have three corners in the right layer but twisted and in the wrong place. So you first solve this corner in two moves and that sets it up for three mover. So I will give you an example here. So we see we want to solve it on white and we have that layer and we know these two corners stay in the same place. So we know we have we have pi with headlights here. And then we look at the center. So we see a soft center here, an opposite and another soft center. So we know we will have pi with a vertical U perm with the opposite here. So then we will solve the layer. So we put it in the layer we want to solve. So we have three twisted corners in the wrong place. We insert that corner in two moves. We solve those three, three moves. And we have that case. So they're for random layers, but it makes it really easy because you can one look them in one, maybe two seconds, and then you can move on to look for other things. Here is also one of those cases. So the, all the centers will stay in the same place and also these two corners. So we have two corners in the right layer, but twisted and in the wrong place and the other one is right above the solved center. How you solve this layer is by twisting this corner in three moves. So you bring it up, put it like this and then you have this three move case. So now I will show an example of how you can recognize it. So the corners above these two stay in the right place. So this one and then we will start tracking the center so here's the u center we see blue has to go here so we have an opposite here and orange is clear so we have an opposite here so we have u center here opposite opposite with peanuts facing this way so sledge hatch so now we solve the layer so we bring this corner up we twist it we put it back do this three mover and we can do it there are a couple more of these cases but 
I'm not showing them because the layer solutions are a bit hard and pretty hard to finger trick so I that, that's why I didn't put them in the video.